everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, let's see how we can add a new tab inside a form view in Odo Fortin using Studio Mode. So for that, let's take an example like inside our, inside our sales module, we can view all of our customers. Okay, so just open a customer form and you can see some pages or tabs inside this form. So this includes contacts and addresses, sales and purchase, accounting. Uh, so you can see a lot of uh, pages. So when you click on the tab, you can see uh, the details under added under that tab. So under sales and purchase, you can view purchase, sales and point of sale and other details. That is, you can see a lot of fields added under this tab. So let's see how we can make use of the studio to add a new tab and fields to this customer form. So for that, just click on this icon. Okay. And when you come below, you can see a plus uh, button. So when you click on that, you can add a new page or add a new tab for this customer. Okay, now when you click on this uh, page, you can change the label. So let, let's make it meaningful. Let's add a label that is privacy settings for a customer. Okay, and you can also limit the visibility to certain groups. Okay, so now under the staff privacy settings, we can add fields. Okay, so now I'm going to add a checkbox. Uh, under this privacy settings. Okay, I'm going to change the label. As a public identity. Okay, and you can uh, set help tooltip to understand the purpose of this field. Then here we can set the widget. So it's already set that is checkbox and you can provide a default value. Okay, now we can add another field that is a text field. We can define the public identity of this customer. Okay, now I'm going to make this field public identity uh, invisible and I only want this visible when uh, this field, this, this checkbox has a public identity is enabled. So for that, let's click on the field and make it invisible. Okay, now we can also set the condition to make it invisible. Uh, that is, if you want to make it invisible, only with the condition, you can set that here. So I'm adding a condition that when uh, the field has a public identity is set as false. That is, if it is not set, uh, we can make it invisible. Okay, now let's close this. Okay, here you can see the tab privacy settings. So now let's add a name. Add the details. Okay, now when you enable this uh, field has a public identity, you can see now we can view the field public identity. Now here we can provide the name.
and now we can save it. So in the same way, we can add different other fields to this under this tab. So here you can see other options, and you can also add relation fields like many to one, one to many, or many to many. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.